What is going on guys? It's Ty here and today we have a completely different video for you. We're going to be coaching a bronze 3 player in solo queue. We're going to be watching his replay, watching it at the same time as him, coaching his way through it, telling him what he's doing well and what he needs to improve on. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, so it looks like you're starting topside and you're going for your blue. Um... I don't know, I usually recommend getting a leash from the bot lane because they give a better leash for the most part and it doesn't make your top laner miss CS so your top laner missed the first three, actually both top laners missed the first three melee minions, they both stayed way too long. Um, if one laner got the three minions and one didn't, that is a pretty big advantage. That they can abuse so then you go for your gromp looks like you're going for a full clear so <clears throat> playing against a yi yi is weak early right so you don't really want to try and out farm the yi because he's going to outscale everyone in the game you want to start making plays as soon as possible so especially on Zinzao, he's a very strong like level three gank so i recommend not doing the gromp going uh, blue into the wolves and then probably run straight down get your red buff and then look for a gank uh, let's see do you go for your birds here uh, yep you go for the birds okay you kill the uh, little ones first um, you started started with the talisman yeah start with the machete because especially with the blue buff you don't really Starting in blue, you don't need the the mana. So that's just a first little correction. Pick up... Uh, okay, so here you go. You're going for a gank. You pop the flash, and then you just immediately leave. Okay, you still don't have your red buff yet. Um, I guess you were just typing something in chat there. Uh, okay, you should be getting your red buff now. Um, that ward is kind of pointless because you have full health so like there's not really any point if you run to the E you'll just kill him because you have full health uh, I guess maybe you were worried that he saw you mid without a red buff so that he might try and take your red because he sees you don't have it but uh, that's not really too big of a threat so you're still clearing right now you should be looking to gank bot um, your your bot lane has a pink and tri bush so you know they don't have vision they're both twitch has no health and no mana Morgan is half you can easily just walk in you could have if you had have just not gone for this camp see how much time you've had to go for that kill right now there's, you still could be going for that Morgana kill. Okay, now now you're out of mana. You, you're going for the kill. Let's see if you can get it. Uh, I'm not sure what you're waiting for there. Okay, you go in. Get bound. Do you fall? And yeah, you can't really do anything. Yeah, so in that situation, and then right now you're taxing the wave. Um, uh, try not to push the wave, but like it's fine to go for the last hits. So like, cause your ADC is gonna be back in lane. So you're just uh, denying them farm. Okay, let's see what you base, let's see what you buy. Okay, so you pick up the uh, Warhammer. And so now now you have to start planning your your route. Like, you don't just randomly walk back onto the map. You want to plan so that you can go to the most efficient places and get your blue buff as soon as it spawns. So your blue buff looks like it's up in... I don't know, it's probably up in... The next oh it's up in 20 seconds so you want to be up there as soon as possible so that's not a bad idea to clear the rates and go to your blue that's not 
a horrible idea if there's no ganks. That's not bad. You Ooh. want to... Oh. You, you just flashed for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why you flashed. Now you're looking for the gank on Ari. Um, not a... Not a bad idea. I mean, you don't know if she has vision or not. So, like, you could be wasting your time, but the way she's playing doesn't really look like she's playing uh, playing with vision. Okay, you just saw she ulted. Um, that's a good time to go and wait for her ult. You engage with your thingy. That's a good kill. That's, that's good. Now, you should be immediately... If your mid laner was low on mana and low on health, you should help her push that out. You should help her push that wave into the tower, but since she has lots of health and mana, she can quickly do it on her own. So yeah, just immediately leave. Go for your jungle. I'd pick up your blue buff first because you want to you want to get your buffs like as soon as possible to get them off the map. So the faster you're killing them, the more at the end of the game, if you're killing them as soon as they spawn every time, you'll end up with more buffs. So do that. And then get your wolves, and uh, let's see if you use the bomb to go over. Okay, um, I you got to get your buffs. You got to get that blue buff right away. I mean, you see Yi's bot, so that's not a bad idea to take his red. It's, a, it's the smart play. But ideally, you would have wanted to take your blue buff instead of the wolves, so you have your blue buff, and then. Then when you saw Yi bottom, you would have already had your blue, and then you could have gone and taken his red. So now you've cleared two camps, you have like no mana, and you're in his jungle, and you don't really have any abilities to, uh, or any mana to use abilities on the camps anyways. So like it's taking you a decent amount of time to kill this because you don't really have too much mana. Um, now if you wanted to gank top, you don't have any mana, so you can't really even gank top. Because you can maybe you maybe have enough mana to dash onto him once or something. Maybe activate Q and auto attack him. Not too efficient to try and get a gank off. Your blue buff is still up. You're nine minutes into the your blue buff. Your blue buff has been up for like two and a half minutes, and you haven't gotten it yet. I don't know why. Did a colleague disconnect or something? Why is she at the tower? I don't know. No, she didn't. So. Yeah, so your blue is, is still up, and uh, you haven't gotten it, so <clears throat> it, it's basically two and a half minutes of wasted blue buff that you could have had. Your blue buff, if you had have got it when it spawned, it would already be back up in another, like, minute or two. It would have already respawned, and you would have had two blue buffs, so you want to get them as fast as possible. Okay, let's skip. Uh, let's skip a little bit ahead. Let's see. I'll find a place to skip. Actually, no. There's a fight coming up here. Just stay where you are. I want to see you fight the Zed. So you still haven't got. You still running past the blue buff, and uh, you're kind of behind in farm. Like, let's see how much farm you have. Forty. Actually, I mean you're. For the CS of the game, you're good, but like you're down in levels. You're oh, yeah, you just hit seven, and um, I don't know. Some people are level nine, so you could be farming a little bit better and staying up in levels. You should probably, probably, definitely, you should be at least level eight or nine right now. But you got to get your blues. They give the most experience, and your blue buff was up for a full five minutes before getting it. So you're now you're just kind of clearing. Um, looking at the map, you don't know where the Auri is. She just is about to come into vision. You know where their bot lane is. They're kind of pushed up. And you just killed the Zeds. So you know he's in base. And you, I don't think you know where the E is. So you should just be looking to make your way down. Just clear your way down. You're not in a rush to gank. Nobody's like... Nobody's super pressed for a gank. Like, they're not... No one's really struggling. Um, bot lane... You, if you look bot lane, you can see their, the bot wave is about to push into your tower. So you can quickly get your red buff. You should skip that. Skip the wraith camp. Grab your red. And then go bot. Because you know the bot lane is shoving in to your, to bot, your team's bot tower. And your team still has a pink ward in dry bush. And they can't... Um, they can't see... They know you can't see them coming. So... 
once again, you prioritize getting a camp instead of your buff. So if you had got your red buff, now you would have had a red buff for this gank. You would have had extra damage. You would have had extra slows. And it would have been a lot more get in health regen if it's a close call trying to tower dive or something. So that probably would have come in a lot, come in handy. So you get bound. That's good. You saved your dash. You engaged with your auto attacks. I'm not really sure what that, what that Kaisa flash was. That was pretty random, but uh, whatever. So that's, so that's a good gank. You uh, engaged with your slow. Okay, and then Twitch goes for a nice int, and uh, he just kind of walks at you, and you kill him, that's good. So now, now what you should be doing is pinging your bot lane, and pushing that last wave in. See those that last wave, if you look at it? Uh, the three melees and the three casters are going to get frozen there on their side of the tower. So, your team's going to get kind of screwed over, because it's kind of pushed in but like if you look if you had have pushed that wave in all those blue minions would have died and all the red minions would have lived and then when your bot lane got back to lane it would have been pushing back towards your team so they would have been in an advantageous position they would have like been able to decide what they wanted to do with the lane whether they wanted to freeze it whether they wanted to push it back it gives them opens up more possibilities for your teammates so now you've finally gotten your red buff um, the biggest thing I, I can just tell you right now is that you've only had, you're 13 minutes in and you've only gotten two sets of buffs. By now you should have gotten, you should be on your third set of buffs about now. Um, uh, I honestly wasn't really paying too much attention to what just happened. I was too busy talking. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I watched you kill Yi, I think, and then die. Uh, I'd have to rewatch that, but any, I think that was an okay decision. So let's skip to. When's your next fight? Let's get, skip to 15 minutes. Or actually, uh, don't even bother. There's only a minute. Just stay where you are. Yeah, just keep it or where you are. We'll see what you buy. You should be finishing up your jungle item. Uh, you picked up a GA second item. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, probably not a... I mean, it's not a terrible idea, but it's probably not too necessary. GA is good if you're like... I don't know. You can rush a GA if you're super fed and you just don't want to die. But I would probably recommend get it stats wise. It's not really going to give you the best stats for your dollars. You're paying for, you're spending a lot of money on just being able to respawn once after you die. So it's not really that valuable. You could just buy a, a item that's going to give you some health and damage, like a, I don't know what you build on that, uh, Zinzel, like a black cleaver, or something. And that might be a a better option because. It's number one buying that item is gonna make you have you less chance of dying so like if you can spend your gold so that you're not gonna end up dying you don't need the GA anyways because you're not gonna die so now you're just kind of skirmishing with the E and you know I think you know Zed's uh, roaming around or actually so now you will obviously you know immediately you should have turned around sort of fighting them when Zed shadowed in, missed everything, and uh, your Zoe landed her sleep ability. Uh, I'm just watching you chase this guy. You just gotta get your buffs. Just gotta abandon the fight. It looks like the fight's kind of over. Just gotta quickly recognize the fight's over. Stop like wandering around so much, and uh, get go get your buffs. Um... Yeah, you're still kind of lurking around. Just make sure to get your buffs like as fast as possible. So taking Scuttle there, I think... Th was that the first time Scuttle died all game? It just died so fast? Yeah. Uh, interesting. Always... Uh, so you're still kind of lurking around. Your blue is still up. Um, they have like a bajillion wards there. They 
I mean, they see you standing there. Ari's probably gonna walk up and... I don't know if she's baiting or... What her plan is. I don't really know what's going on here. Um... I don't know, that was just super interesting. You should just got your blue buff. So it looks like you're splitting in the bot lane. Zinzao is a pretty good split pusher. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be able to 1v1 a Yi if you're equally fed, but it looks like you're a lot more fed than him, so he's not really a threat. He, I mean, he's still, he's busted. I, he could still, in a 1v1 late game. You have two levels on him. I don't think he can take you, so. Uh, not sure why Kali just teleported bottom, but anyways, I, I think it was a good idea that you were splitting bot. Your team should have uh, grouped mid and let you split. Put down some pressure. Maybe you should have grabbed that. Definitely probably should have snuck away that Mountain Dragon. Just killed it really fast. You probably could have just nuked it down. Mountain Dragon's pretty good for taking objectives. Um, looks like your team's just inting and you're gonna... They know you're there, so you're probably... I don't know, they could just walk over and kill you if they wanted to, but they're probably just going to keep going mid because they don't really care if you're sitting in the bush or not. Um, your Akali is trying to backdoor, so you could go and try and stop the ports. I mean, it looks like you're going to get the Zed's port, but I think you... Uh, I guess you just nuked him. He's not going to kill you. You're not even going to need to use your GA. So now instead of basing, you know they all just base. Just take your, this is kind of risky, but take your jungle. Just take your wolves, take your blue buff, take that giant wave top, take your gromp, and then base. You're always looking to have your jungle cleared 24-7. You, ne you never want to have any camps up in your jungle. You want them gone always. For every second that you have a, uh, a camp that is up, that isn't dead that you're wasting gold. That's gold that could be in your pocket and respawning to come and give you more gold again. So just try and be more mindful. Just think your number one priority in League is to get as much farm as possible and be the highest level in the game. Leveling, like you're not, you're still not really going for your blue here, are you? I guess you're maybe gonna go for it. So now they're gonna get that dragon. When you saw that your team was losing that fight mid, that would have been the perfect opportunity. You should have been like, oh, my team's going to die mid. I'm not going to get there in time. How can I even the trade and make us come out on top of the trade? So you could have gone and taken the dragon. Well, your team was going to lose mid because you if they, if your team died before you got there, you, it does, if you show up all, after they're dead, you're not going to be able to stop them anyways. You're just going to die. So you might as well not show up at all and get an objective somewhere else. And the Akali was already trading objectives top, or bottom, sorry. So you could have got the dragon and got the tower's bottom. And only lost that tier 1 tower. So now you're coming in from the flank from behind. You're in a pretty good position. That's a good flank. Onto the twitch. Boom, kill him. You're moving in. You're gonna go for the Morgana next. Try and probably chase him down. No problem. Clean him up. That's a good flank. Bought a lot of time for the Akali. Kali got the good split push off. That's a good play. Immediately here, go for Baron. Ping Baron. Take this Baron down now. This is when you have to Baron. You know Yi just ran off with no health. You know Ari's in base defending the uh, inhibitor. You have four players on your team. You have your... Wait, did anybody die? Uh, I don't think anybody on your team died, did they? Yeah, nobody on your team died. Just take, there's four of you, and it's 25 minutes in, just take that Baron down. You could have all just rushed Baron, or rushed a tower. You just randomly went bottom, and I didn't even really see what you are doing, but you didn't get anything. You guys, barely, you just, basically, you, you basically effectively aced them. You sent E packing, you killed three of them, and Ari was trapped in base defending an inhib, so... As far as the rest of the map's concerned, they can't stop you anywhere. So you could have easily just rushed down towers, you could have rushed down Baron, you pretty much could have rushed down any objective you wanted, and they wouldn't have been able to retaliate. Okay, so moving along, is there even a Baron in this game? So no one even, it doesn't look like anybody even takes Baron in this game, so we're going to skip to... I'll uh, we'll just let it keep playing, looks like there's another team fight coming up. So you're getting your red buff, let's see what you're building. You have a Phantom Dancer, and a Static Shiv. Um... 
Looks like you're building pretty glass cannon. Uh, I don't know. That's not a bad idea. I, I don't think those are the most optimal items you can get on Zinzao. You're probably going to deal a lot of damage, but I don't... I don't think that that's exactly the uh, the best item set to buy. Um, you definitely want a Trinity Force. That's like a pretty essential item on Zinzao is Trinity Force. Definitely want a Trinity Force every time. You definitely want a Black Cleaver every time. And depending on if you need to be really tanky or kind of tanky, maybe a Sterox Gauge. Probably, uh, I mean, I, I just tabbed out. I don't know where you just died. Um, so now you've got you've got that bot inhibitor, like a little, like a couple minutes ago or a minute ago. Now you want to be focusing down Baron. You need to be getting pinks around Baron. Lots of pinks. Lots of uh, oracles, elixir, sweepers, taking out all their wards. You get, there's like hardly, the map is like completely dark. Everyone just wanders around without warding. Buy pinks. Every time you spawn past like 15 minutes, you should be buying a pink every time you base. It's only 75 gold, but it denies so much vision and grants so much vision. And can last a really long time if you, if your team controls that area. So you definitely need to be buying pinks. You need to be warding Baron. And you need to be playing for the objectives. Oh, I see you just went for the flash. Uh, uh, what do you flash dash? Whatever, like whatever that thing's called when you jump to them. I can't think of what it would be called right now. Yi just randomly alts at you. Looks like you're just gonna blow them up with your full crit build. That's actually not like too bad of a build considering you're. Uh, did you just disconnect there or something? I don't know what just happened, but you just kind of walked in and died. Probably take that pick on the Yi and get out of there. Maybe do Skettle Crab, do your jungle. Try and make your way topside. You need to be getting vision topside and trying to make a play on that Baron. Like, you have mini super minions in their base. You just killed their jungler. That is the perfect time to regroup with your team and go for that Baron. So it looks like your team's just in dying one by one. Not really sure what's going on here. The other team still hasn't reacted to their base dying to super minions, and you could you could have easily forced a fight 5v3 when someone finally realized they had to base. Like that Morgana that based, when she based, it makes it 5v3 if you none of you suicide, and then you just either kill them all or just force the Baron down. You know Yi's dead, they can't outsmite you. That Sona just whiffed a crescendo, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, let's see, let's skip... Skip to... Who ends up winning this game? Let's skip to... Skip to 32 minutes. So it looks like... Uh, um, you're getting a little bit of a team fight going. You just got nuked out by the Twitch ult. So immediately, you're just kind of lurking around. You guys went two for two. They don't have any vision in the jungle. You guys can just... Mm, you're not really that tanky. You could probably maybe do the Baron, but probably not. You're all pretty squishy. You should definitely get the Dragon, get your red buff, get something. You can regroup and get anything. Um, I've seen this Sona whiff so many alts. This is pretty funny. Uh, okay, so let's see what you're still building. Yeah, I actually, and then you're going with a Ravenous Hydra, so you're extremely squishy, but you can blow up anyone. I don't mind that build against Yi, because building against Yi, the only way to beat Yi is to be able to one-shot Yi, otherwise he's going to out-damage everyone. So, to maintain your 1v1 advantage over the Yi, I, I don't mind the, the full glass cannon build, because you're going to be able to one-shot him, like, by the time you get three autos and knock him into the air, he's going to be dead, probably. So that's not bad, but then you have to play extra careful that you're not soaking up too much damage. So yeah, just prioritize your buffs more, like a lot more. Be getting your buffs very fast as soon as they spawn. Try and get as sneak away as many dragons as you can. I think 
like there's 34 minutes into the game and the dragon's only been killed once and the dragon spawns i think every five or six minutes so at this point there could be like i don't know like basic math i don't know like five or six dragon kills like maybe not that many uh, wait maybe it, is it eight minutes it spawns honestly i don't even know but the dragon could have been killed like i don't know at least four times at this point in the game it's only been killed once so you just go mid you're fighting the twitch and the re you're both popping each other's ga's uh your whole team's dead um that flash wasn't necessary it's just the only threat was the re charm and don't bother flashing a charm until she actually throws out the charm so you end up turning it killing them both not bad pretty good play but yeah that flash recognize what the threat is like think to yourself wait what is actually going to kill me here like what am i actually worried about that i would have to dodge and then you'd be like oh wait twitch doesn't have a skill shot he can't do anything to me and then it's like oh ari has her q and her charm and her q is not going to really kill you and her charm is the only thing that's going to get you killed because that'll buy twitch time to catch up They'll let her land a full Q. They'll let her land her other stuff. And you're going to be dead. So just wait. Just keep walking. And then if she goes to charm you, then flash it. Just be ready. Have you, like Be ready to flash. But don't flash unless she actually throws a charm that you can't juke. So your blue just spawned. Literally just take your blue as soon as it spawns there. Always be looking at the timers. Still haven't... No, I don't think anyone's bought a pink word. But, uh, no one's bought a pink word since that one pink word that's been... In bot lane tri bush all game long so you gotta buy pinks put a pink right in the mouth of baron like that right in the center there so it covers the whole pit and a bit it gives vision outside the pit also um yeah like just dom just think objectives nobody in this elo is thinking objectives so if you're the guy that's thinking objectives you'll be able to be so much more effective because they'll just be free. You'll just take them all for free because no one even wants them. So right now, you could... Like, their bot's open. They're kind of pushing up mid. You could... You already run the top, uh, the bot side jungle. You could be looking for a backdoor end the game right now. If you see them all mid showing, there's one dead. And if you see four mid, you should just rush their nexus. I don't know if you do that, but you, you could just rush their nexus. No problem. Um, yeah, you see them all mid. If you had have just camped, like, uh, where you have that ward in the uh, top right of the map, then you could have just rushed it, like, kind of sat in that area, waited for them to show, and then as soon as they show, you rush them. You could have easily just dominated them. I just watched their Zed teleport from base to a tier 1 tower, in interestingly enough, just to go out and die. That was pretty interesting. And it looks like Sona's 1v1ing a Yi somehow. I don't really know what's going on. You go back to defend the base. Um, they all just kind of in. And then she gets sniped. So, if you don't end the game here, then that's pretty crazy. 50 second de death timers. Uh, that Akali, why did she just leave the base? Does she Is she just going for kills? or uh, I'm not really sure what she's doing. But she could have just ended the game. Like The Nexus has like 10 health with super minions on it so yeah just play get your buffs look to farm make sure all your camps are down all the time look for objectives and uh that's on a basic level that'll really improve your play just always be looking to go to where you can get the most farm the most xp okay so the game st why is this game still not over why is this <laughs> why is this game not ended yet why is like someone could have just tell me the minions end it yeah like someone anyone you could have backdoored it when they all went mid instead of just lurking around in the jungle in the bush um instead of looking for the flank just look to end the game always take whenever there's a fight you never like a fight can go either way most of the time like unless you're super far ahead there's always a chance you lose a fight right but if you force them into a situation where you can't lose, you have to always be looking for the win-win situation. 
there's win-win situations, there's lose-lose situations, and there's win-lose situations where there's a give and a take, but you want to be forcing the win-win situation. A win-win, for example, when you're in the bush there waiting for them, a win-win would be you go for the back door and um, you, your, your hope is that they keep sieging mid, right? You're trying to lure them out of their base so that you can go for the nexus. A win-win would be they run down mid chasing your team, but your team doesn't let them. Your team doesn't die. They ju they know that they're they're the bait. They're 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 the distraction. They just keep backing up towards your towers to safety, and they buy you time to go in and finish off the nexus. That's a win-win. Your team lives, and you take what you need to take. A win-lose would be, and I'll see you all in the next video. Trade equally the objectives that they do. So like. Your team dies mid, you lose two towers mid, you take two towers in the bot lane. That's a win-lose. And then a lose-lose is you go to try and stop them from pushing. Your team all dies. You get there, you die. You get aced. You don't take any other objectives and they just get a bunch of stuff for free. But you want to avoid those situations. Overall, I mean, as far as the game's concerned, you played well for like that match, but... If you focus on your objectives, focus on killing the buffs, getting an XP lead, optimizing your time more efficiently, taking all the free dragons, the free barons, buying pink wards, you'll be a heck of a lot more effective. As always, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps you find some of the common mistakes that people make at lower elo and shows you how you can correct them. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.